Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Now, the very important question, our third learning objective, can organizational culture be managed? I must say that changing a culture can be very difficult. It is hard to understand how the previous four factors which we just talked about interact. Major alteration sometimes is needed to bring about change in the organization culture which is not easy. It is not really very easy to change the structure. Structure is probably the most difficult thing to change. Financial and non-financial reward system are also not easy to change. So, these four factors are not easy to change and we need to look at the implication of the change in those factors in all subject to structural and cultural aspect of the organization. But there are some ways the change can be done. So, changing culture is a complicated coding intervention, but nonetheless it is being tried in many organizations very successfully. In the next part of the session, we are going to look at a real life case study where a major shift was carried out in terms of the cultural change. This case study is about the Trichy police, the police department of the Trichy district in India which is in the south of India. So, Trichy as a town was becoming a hotbed of a communal violence and crime. This is the story of the late 90s in 98, 99, 2000 this experiment was carried out. So, there were attacks on the leaders of communities as well as the police officers. It was and it still has a unique mix of communities of Christian, Muslims and Hindus. In 99, after the Coimbatore blast and Coimbatore is another town in south of India, uh, Trichy was also tensed and prime minister's visit was due for the party meeting. And at this juncture, Mr. J. K. Tripathi took over the charge of commissioner of police of the city. So, the primary challenges in this uh, uh, town in front of uh, Mr. J. K. Tripathi was that communal clashes in the city was usual and the mix of the communities was unusual in the sense there were one third of the Christians, one third of Muslim and one third of the Hindu population and there used to be the clashes amongst the different communities very often. The image of the police was not of a very positive kind. In the police department itself, there was a belief that there cannot be any better way of doing their job as they were doing at that time. The immediate challenge was that prime minister visit was round the corner after a few weeks and if that had to be trouble free, Mr. Dekhidri party had a very less time to make any intervention. This is another challenge, the challenge of the lack of manpower. Anyway, the number of police per thousand or per ten thousand population ratio in India is very less comparing in comparison to the developed countries. It was so in the Trichy as well. So, the intervention Mr. Tripathi did was very interesting. He picked up 50 of his most reliable constables who were honest, did not have the bad habits such as drinking or womanizing and were polite to the public. And how he got to know about these constable, it was through the CID and the uh, confidential character reports. So, he used the official record to identify the most, the 50 most reliable constables. He personally met them, communicated to them and asked them to stay in their respective lo localities for a week and collect the information related to security threats and pass on that information to him directly. So, he gave his a mobile number to these constables and the constables were supposed to remain in their respective localities. 
this was important because the kind of information they were getting till that time and their confidential information collection system was very weak and he had to strengthen the information gathering system and these constable were identified as the key change maker or identified as the talented uh, manpower to collect the key information about any security threat in their locality. Very soon the Mr. Tripathi realized that the quality of information received in this manner was of very good quality and that enabled him to take preventive action and PM's visit, the prime minister visit went smoothly. This was a very successful experiment. There were very important insights coming out of this experiment. Number one, he thought that why not the similar process can be adopted for the controlling the crime. The crime rate was much higher in the Trichy town at that time in comparison to the average cities in India. Another insight came when constables, these 50 constables reported that their report when they were there in their locality, their rapport with their neighbors was improving and they were able to even renew the old contacts they had. So, based on these two insights, uh, Mr. Tripathi hit upon an idea of community policing model. So, community policing model is popular and accepted in many developed countries. However, it is application in India was not very common till that time. It is still not very common in India. If we look at what were the forces which were supporting this change and what were the forces which were opposing the change of implementing the uh, community policing model in Trichy, we get a figure like this. So, the opposing factors were the middle level police officers those who are in between assistant police commissioner and constables. They are called station house officers. They were responsible for specific beats, specific areas in the town and they used to give very close instructions sometime even at the hourly basis on at what beat, at what location a constable should be or should not be. However, there were some supporting forces as well. The very important, the powerful supporting force was informal reward and recognition, recognition which came through by identifying these sparks, by identifying these uh, constables. By identification of the reliable constables and asking them to remain in the locality and making them free for not coming every morning for the morning drill which otherwise all other police constables had to that acted as a informal reward and recognition to these constables. Secondly, Mr. Tripathi was directly involved. He gave his uh, mobile numbers to these constables to pass on any critical information and he was constantly observing and supporting the work of these uh, uh, constables. By implementing the beat system, by implementing the community policing even to a limited extent brought a flexibility in the police administration process in that town. So, this was a kind of a action research to test the promises of the community policing approach. In this action research, he, Mr. Tripathi found that the application of the community policing approach can be useful in the town of Trichy for the general purpose as well. And with that insight, the full scale implementation of community policing started. So, how it was done? He selected about 260 constables out of more than 2500 constables available in the city police force. He conversed all of these constables and he did not talk only about the work and what are the responsibility these constables will have to hold. He talked about their neighborhood, he talked about 
their childhood, how they have grown up, who are their friends and what they are doing in the society. Through these conversations constable reali constables realized that some of the criminals were their friends in, the ch in their childhood. So, they were living in the similar uh, locality, but because of some environmental reason, because of various reasons on which they themselves did not have much control, they chose the path of crime for earning their livelihood. That made the uh, constables realize that nobody is criminal by birth. People turn towards crime sometime because of the circumstantial reasons. So, in this way mind shift of the in this through these conversations Mr. Tripathi wanted a shift in the mindset of the constables from a criminal control mentality to the crime control mentality. Building ownership was another very important element of this full scale implementation of the community policing approach. Establish the beat system. So, the constables were chosen for the specific beat system and they were told that they will not be transferred out of that beat for about 2 years. That gave a sense of ownership to these constables for the law and order situation in their beats. So, these constables who were responsible for the specific beats were also called beat officers and the beat officers were not required to come for the roll call every morning. Another rule was that on a beat at least one constable will be there at any point of the day, but who will be out at what time in which part of the beat was to be decided by the uh, beat officers among themselves. So, the whole town was divided into the 60 beats and each beat had 4 beat officers and they had the autonomy to choose who will be out in the beat at what time during the day. Beat officers were equipped with walkie talkie at that time only the senior police officers used to uh, have this facility of walkie talkie, but uh, beat officers were also provided this facility. So, a new system was implemented. In this new system as I mentioned city was divided into 60 beats and 4 beat officers per beat were assigned. Now, the role of a station house officer who was the senior to the constables and the sub inspectors, they were supposed to meet the officers beat officers twice a day and sub inspector were supposed to meet the beat officers in the morning and evening and exchange the information. Assistant police commissioners had to meet the beat officers of 8 beats. So, 30 beats were under the jurisdiction of the uh, assistant police commissioners, uh, 8 beats were under the jurisdiction of the SHOs and 4 to 5 beats were under the uh, monitoring and control of the SI or the sub, sub inspectors. The superintendent of police or so the police commissioners Mr. Tripathi's contact number was fleshed out in the whole city. So, and the information was also given about that in the uh, news through the newspapers and the local cable TV operators. Not only that, a complaint boxes were put up in every beat where anyone could uh, post and could leave the complaint about any civil issue or some information about the crime or about the criminals. And this box was opened directly by someone from the commissioner's office. So, this was a new system uh, implemented in the Trichy police department. This system had a phenomenal impact on the culture of the police department in the Trichy town and their engagement with the community. The impact could be seen at the community level, at individual level, at the level of the interaction of the colleagues in the police department 
as well as their interaction with the SI and SHOs. What was that? What was the change? The change was that the, sh the working of the police department of the town shifted from a department oriented approach or boss oriented approach to the community oriented work. Now, they were in direct contact to the community, they were spending more time in the community and they were working towards the well being of the community. So, there was a close interaction of the community and the police beat officers, so much so that the local people started calling them with the title of Anna and Annas these beat officers were not only taking care of the information gathering or prevention of the crime, they were also helping the community to some of the civil problems. For example, at some places if the street light is not working, they would help the community to lodge the complaint in the municipality and sometime they used their own influence or the contact to get this done through the municipality. So, there was a locality in the Trichy town close to its airport and this locality was not directly connected to the main town through a road. The beat officer who were affectionately called Anna, they communicated this problem to the municipality and influenced the municipality authorities to construct a road and this small road was named as police road because it was constructed due to the intervention and the initiative of the police department. That reduced the time as very significantly for the people of this community to reach to the main town. There was a change in the interaction at the different level of hierarchy within the police department in this town. Now, SHOs and SI have more authentic conversation and more collaboration with the constables. So, constables were not operating just based on the command and control way, but they were operating in collaboration with the uh, SHO and SI. The beat officers were working as team, so the cooperation started amongst them and they had autonomy which they had to use very responsibly, because they were good performer and there was the pressure of a good performance, because they were chosen one, they were trusted by their uh, seniors in the department. That infused them with pride for their work. Now, they are taking pride in getting the information and solving the issue. They were working truly for the community and that gave them sense of meaning and purpose for their job. There was a healthy competition started amongst the SHO, SI and beat officers. For example, a beat officer would not be very pleasant to see that he that the commissioner is getting information through the complaint box before that information reaches to, uh, to the beat officer. And SHOs tried their level best to ensure they get information or they are able to solve the issue before the commissioner get the information or intervene in solving the issue. Similarly, SI and SHO thought that they should be proactively working to address the issues brought up by the beat officers instead of police commissioner uh, intervening in the issues and had to address the issue directly. So, there was a healthy competition started amongst the different uh, members of the police department and that initiative lasted for few years that totally transformed the uh, culture of the police department. And as an outcome of this, they were able to nab more than 260 hardcore criminals from the town and the crime rate reduced to 40 percent of its rate of at the time when this initiative was started. So, you can see that this is a excellent example of the cultural change and if we map the cultural change through the concepts which we looked at, we can see the concept which we discussed about changing the organization culture 
are implemented in the case study as well. You might remember that first thing we discussed was the personal and professional characteristics of the people within the organization that determines the culture. By choosing the sparks of the department, by choosing the most reliable constables of the department and giving them the key responsibility of being beat officer, the culture was initiated, the culture of accountability and community orientation by initiated in the department. Then organizational ethics we studied that the sense of right and wrong prevailing in the organization decides the organization culture. And there in this case we see that community service became paramount. The community service became the most important value through this intervention. And ethics of the work in the police department was driven by this value of community service or public service. Then we studied financial and non-financial rewards and compensation to the managers and employees and their role in determining the culture and obviously in bringing about desired change in the culture. Now we see there were hardly any monetary reward to be a beat officer. There were financial rewards which were already announced by the department for naming different criminals, but that award those award money was not different for the beat officers and rest of the members of the police force in that town. But the real reward was informal. It became a matter of pride to be identified as the beat officer. In fact, there were some cases where beat officers very few cases where the beat officers were found to be engaged in a corrupt practices straight away they were their beat officer tag was removed they were called back in the general uh, activities of the police and sometime they were line attached. So, this was a informal punishment as well uh, which no beat officer wanted to be subjected to. As I mentioned a healthy competition started amongst the beat officers and even with the local police station. Whenever there is a situation of crime or some accident, beat officer considered this to be a matter of importance, matter of pride to reach on the location before the police personnel of the local police station reach over there. And uh, SHO and SI and BIS officers were collaborating in uh, finding information and acting upon that. So, we can say that predominantly based on the non-financial reward, a major shift in the culture was brought into the department. Last point we discussed was the structure of organization change and how it helps in bringing about change in the culture. We see there was a minor structural change in the department of police in this in the town of Trichy. Only 60 out of 2500 constables were picked up and they were chosen at the beat of, as a beat officer. Their role was majorly redefined. The role of other officers and other constable remained same. But even this specific change in the role and the reporting system of these 60, 70 sparks of the beat officers, there was a major shift in the culture. Little bit of flexibility in this role and more accountability and autonomy to these people, these, these cannot be termed as major structural change. But even with the minor structure change, a major shift in the culture was achieved. So, if we look at what are the key insights of the Tuchi police case about the cultural change. We see in this case that leadership is the most important source of culture and cultural transformation. We also see 
that structure, process and culture need to be handled together for any transformation or for any change. We also looked at in this case that dialogue is essential component of the change in culture. You see a extensive dialogue between the leader Mr. Tripathi and the constable who were his change agents in his mission of establishing community policing uh, model. There was extensive dialogue between the beat officers and the local community. There was also a enhanced dialogue and collaboration amongst the different hierarchical levels of the organization. We also see that communicating strongly through punishment about what is non-negotiable is very important to sustain the cultural change. Even with the few incidents, even with one incidence of the corrupt practice by the by any beat officer made him to be transferred from the position of beat officer to a normal uh, constable. That was a strong message and uh, beat officers considered their role, took their role very seriously. We also see that culture change happens when people are awakened to the broadened horizon, when meaning and purpose is being created for their work and they are able to help to see the impact of their work for the larger cause. There is a shift in the mindset and the shift in the mindset result in the desired change in the behavior and when people behaviors, people's behavior mindset changes, culture also changes. So, in this session we looked at what are the factors of organizational culture, how organizational culture is defined, what is the role of values in organization culture, how to inculcate a certain type of organization culture, what are the strategies of socialization which has a significant impact on the organization culture. And then we saw through a real life case of Trichy police that how a cultural shift and cultural change towards more efficiency, towards more positivity can be achieved by working on these factors. In the next section, we will look at how introduction of IT can help to transform any organization. Thank you.